Let's talk about combined liver and kidney transplantation in children. This is a very complex, very difficult procedure. But this is something we have championed over the past 15 years. And we have extensive experience in this with 95% success rate. This is usually done for children who suffer from primary hypertoxiluria. In that, the liver fails to make an enzyme which is responsible for metabolizing oxalates which we consume in our food as a result of which the oxalates deposit in the kidneys and cause kidney failure. So these children present to us with kidney failure and they're on dialysis but really what they need is not just a kidney transplant but a combined liver and kidney transplant. So we carry out both these transplants in the same operating session we take about 20 to 25 percent of the liver from one of the parents of the children and transplant it first and then once we have completed the liver transplant in the same operating room we transplant one of the kidneys of one of the other parents or close relatives into the same child. Combined liver kidney transplant in children is a totally different game unlike adults. You usually need it when the kidney and liver both are lost due to metabolic conditions like polycystic uh, kidney and liver disease, allergial syndrome and more commonly most of the cases that we've done are in primary hyperoxaluria. It's a condition where you tend up to form stones in the kidney and then lose the kidney. But one needs to understand that the defect, the enzyme defect is in the liver. So if you don't change the liver, even the new kidney will get choked to death. So that is when you do combined liver kidney transplant. And I'm happy to share that it was in 2007 when we did the Asia's first combined living related liver kidney transplant in a child. And then after that, dozens of children we did with very high success rate. And uh, it's very challenging because you need to understand how much dialysis to be done before in certain conditions, the fitness of the patient, both the nutrition and the other organs need to be taken care of, and the post-transplant care, the right immunosuppression, which is enough for the liver and the kidney. But the good thing is that when there is a combined liver kidney, uh, the kidney is protected and the outcome is much better than an isolated kidney transplant. Now, the interesting thing here is that while liver transplantation needs the blood pressure to be moderately low, otherwise they'd be bleeding, the kidney transplant needs the blood pressure to be high, otherwise the kidney does not function. And that is one of the many challenges we face. But with our expert anesthesia team and surgical team that works in three operating rooms, we are able to successfully accomplish this procedure.